And first, breaking news, a tragedy in the line of duty. A Detroit police officer killed in a shooting during a home invasion. Another officer also shot and rushed to the hospital. The suspect is now in custody. It happened just before 730 in the area of Wyoming and Pembroke on the west side. We have Team 7 coverage. Rudy Harper live at the scene where this unfolded. But let's begin with uh, Alan Campbell at Sinai Grace Hospital where the officers were taken. Yeah, and Alan, the chief just spoke moments ago alongside Mayor Mike Duggan. Yeah, the chief and the mayor both standing side by side and saying really tonight is a sad night for the city of Detroit and law enforcement as another police officer killed in the line of duty. Now those two officers brought here to Sinai Grace, of course, in Detroit. When we arrived here on scene, there were hundreds of Detroit police vehicles, officers, SWAT, all out here to check on their colleagues after they were both shot responding to a break in in progress. Now the chief tells us tonight that that break in in progress was reported around 720 when police arrived on scene. Occupants ran out of the house. Just take a listen to what the chief says happened next. As the officers arrived, occupants of this home uh, began running out, frantic, approached our officers, and it was a report that there was a suspect inside of the home armed with a rifle. The officers put that additional information out over the air, and in doing so, additional officers arrived, and the second set of officers. The officers made entry into this home. Once they made entry, they cleared the upper level of the home uh, in search of this suspect. Uh, as they began to go downstairs, the suspect, who's armed with a high-powered rifle, began to open fire on the officers. Two of the four officers was hit by gunfire. A three-year veteran of the department sustained a single gunshot wound to his left leg. The second officer, 18-year veteran, sustained a single gunshot wound to his neck. Because it was a high-powered rifle, uh, the round traversed up through the rear of his skull where the bullet was lodged. Both officers were transported here, treated. Uh, the one officer uh, with the wound to his leg is right now in temp serious condition. He's conscious and moving around. Unfortunately, our 18-year veteran succumbed to his injuries. And tonight, Mayor Duggan says this is a very tough time for the city of Detroit as that 18-year veteran leaves behind a family. He says every night these brave men and women go out there to protect us to make sure that the streets are safe. And this is just another tragic ending for the officers in the city of Detroit. As for the suspect who was shot by police as they did return fire, we're told that suspect has a single gunshot wound and is now in temp serious condition here at Sinai Grace. But one thing is for sure, all these police officers need prayers tonight and prayers for this family. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.